Ready to turn your online store into reality? Minus the stress. With WordPress and WooCommerce, it's not only possible, it's quick and simple. Stay with me as I'll walk you through one step at a time. First thing first, why WooCommerce? It's a favorite e-commerce building tool for many. It's like the best buddy of WordPress, blending in seamlessly and connecting you to a vast community of other WordPress enthusiasts. What's more awesome is how it grows with you. You start small, but as your shop gets bigger, WooCommerce provides an extensive library of add-ons, free and paid, to add whatever custom features you need for your site. The WooCommerce software itself is totally free, so you don't need to pay extra to use it. Additionally, a wealth of resources is available thanks to its hearty community support that will assist you in solving any issue you might come across. With all of these in mind, I'll show you how to set up an online store using Hostinger managed WooCommerce hosting, from purchasing a hosting plan to getting your site ready. While WooCommerce itself is free, you need a powerful and reliable hosting plan to power your online store. Therefore, the first step before installing WooCommerce is to purchase a hosting plan and create a WordPress website. This time, I'll use Hostinger's managed WooCommerce hosting as an example, as it will give you optimized server resources for WordPress and WooCommerce. This ensures high uptime and fast loading speeds for your online store, even during peak traffic. In addition, Hostinger offers automatic website backups, automatic software updates for both WordPress and WooCommerce, and vulnerability scanner for maximum security of your online store. In other words, launching your online store is as simple as purchasing a managed WooCommerce hosting from the landing page, which you can access by clicking the link in the description below. Just don't forget to apply the WP10 coupon code for an extra 10% off. After that, follow the onboarding process. Don't forget to pick Online Store as your website type and WordPress as your site creation tool. Once you're on the WooCommerce dashboard, you'll be guided to complete a simple setup wizard, but I'll be skipping that for now. Finally, there's a WooCommerce setup checklist similar to what I'm showing you here. This checklist will act as a guide to navigate the initial store setup, so you won't miss any of those crucial details that should be present on your site. Of course, you can do each of these steps as you feel comfortable. There's no need to do everything in order. However, if you wish to skip this list for now, simply navigate to the WooCommerce admin dashboard. Remember, you don't need to overthink every single detail when first launching your business website. In time, and as you learn more, you'll be able to go back and tweak everything you might have skipped or missed. Above all else, making your first website should be an enjoyable and thrilling process. Now, with that in mind, let's start with the setup process by displaying your first product. To add a new product, click the Add Product button from the checklist. Then, choose any type of product you want to sell. I'll go with a physical one this time. You'll see this interface, something that's not too different from adding a new blog post. You only need to fill in the title and write the product description. Feel free to be creative and playful with how you want to market your product, adding any relevant keywords like Echo Kitchenware, BPA-free or Made in USA to enhance its visibility on search engines. Navigate to the Hostinger menu on the left side admin panel and choose AI Content Creator. Select your product type, language tone and content length from the drop-down menu. Then write your prompt into this section right here. If you have any keywords you wish to optimize, you can also list them in this section. Finally, hit Generate Content once you're done. You'll see your newly generated product page. If you like what you see, click Edit as a Draft to go to the page editing interface. There you have it, your very first product page is now ready. If you have a product image already, replace the default one by uploading the file to the media library. Just don't forget to fill in the alt text to improve your product page's visibility on search engines. To do that, click Set Product Image. For a more detailed explanation of how to add products in WooCommerce, I'll leave a link to the video on the topic below. If you want more information on polishing your product page, be sure to check that out. You can preview the product page to see how it looks, and if it's good, hit that Publish button. Now that you have a product page ready, setting up payment methods is the next crucial step for your store. From the WooCommerce checklist, you'll be suggested to set up WooPayments, which is built-in payment feature tailored for a WooCommerce site. 
With it, you can accept multiple payment options, including credit and debit cards, Apple Pay and Google Pay, or even enable other popular payment methods. This is a quick and reliable option to add to your site. To set it up, you'll need an active WordPress.com account. Then verify your business and payment details to start receiving payment deposits. Unfortunately, not all payment extensions will be listed here, especially if you're looking for something specific to your region. If that's the case, I would suggest checking out the WordPress plugin directory instead. Whatever the case, you can manage the payment methods on your site by navigating to settings and clicking payments. Here, all the available payment options will be automatically listed. Setting up a payment channel is as simple as clicking this toggle button. Just don't forget to hit that Save Changes button once you're done. Okay, you've got your payment method sorted out. It's time to finish the fourth step on the checklist, adding tax rates. Before we dive deeper into the steps, remember that not all products or even sites need to handle taxes. Setting up tax can be necessary if you're selling things to other businesses in different countries or if you're selling digital stuff or services online. That's because tax can change depending on where your customers are. But if your shop is more on the smaller side and you're just selling to people in your local area, it's usually straightforward. You should not worry about every little detail and can simply include the tax in your prices. In other words, the best way to know for sure what you need to do about the taxes is to check out the tax rules where you live. That'll help you figure out if you need to pay more attention. You'll be suggested to start setting up WooCommerce tax, which will automate a lot of your online store's tax calculation processes. It will calculate taxes based on the customer's location, the type of product being sold, and current laws. It will also ensure that the tax rates applied to your products are accurate, up-to-date, and in compliance with local, state, and international tax regulations. Sounds great, doesn't it? You can set up WooCommerce tax from the checklist page following the steps needed to connect your account. Other than your WordPress.com account, you'll also need to activate the Jetpack plugin to add this feature. In case you don't want to use this feature, you can still set up the tax calculations manually from the settings page. Under the General tab, check the Enable Tax Rates and Calculations option and hit Save Changes. You should notice a new Tax tab that has appeared. Here, you can freely tweak your tax settings, such as deciding whether the product prices should be inclusive or exclusive of tax, selecting the address for tax calculation purposes, and determining how visitors will view prices when browsing your store. You can also set custom tax rates. By default, WooCommerce will only provide the standard, reduced, and zero tax rates for specific regions. Now, let's move on to shipping details. If you plan to sell digital products only, feel free to skip to the next section on how to start customizing your store. Otherwise, your next step will be setting up shipping zones, calculations, and criteria. Head to WooCommerce, then Settings, and click Shipping. Start the setup by clicking this button here. Give your zone a name and select any applicable regions. You also have the option to add different shipping method options like flat rate, free shipping, and local pickup. Choose the one that applies to you and click Add Shipping Method. You will also be asked to provide more information after each step. In case you're selling products where listing dimensions are essential, you can group up similar product types using the Shipping Classes option. You'll see your entire shipping zone list on this page here. Next, let's configure the shipping settings. You can choose to display the shipping calculator on the cart page, hide shipping rates until customers enter their address, and pick the default shipping address. Now, a lot of different scenarios can happen regarding shipping calculation, depending on the kind of goods you sell. If you feel like these default shipping features aren't enough, worry not, as you can add any custom plugins and extensions to answer such concerns. Several popular shipping extensions include WooCommerce Table Rate Shipping, WooCommerce Weight-Based Shipping, and WooCommerce Distance Rate Shipping. With that out of the way, it's time to finally customize your store. Choosing a suitable theme will make sure your site appears inviting and engaging, something that can be used as a great branding strategy. And just like any other WordPress website, installing a theme can be done by going to Appearance and Themes and Add New. When picking a theme for your online store, it's important to ensure that it will be fully compatible with WooCommerce. You might have seen Storefront during the onboarding process. If you selected that beforehand, you're already way ahead. Storefront was developed by none other than WooCommerce themselves. 
If you haven't done so already, simply install and activate the theme from the WordPress theme library. Once done, you'll see the storefront menu on your dashboard where you can play around with how you want to design your website, the look, feeling, and all. Other than the site's visual user interface, customizing your site involves adding more features and functionalities to improve its overall user experience. Here's where WordPress plugins and WooCommerce extensions come into play. The good news? A lot of WooCommerce themes and extensions are free. You can find them in the WordPress plugin directory or the WooCommerce extension store, but you'll need a Woo.com account for that. For example, say you want to display a floating shopping cart. Simply install WooCommerce menu cart so that your customers don't have to go to a separate page to check what's currently in their cart. Since customizing your store is an ongoing process, I strongly advise you to always be eager to learn and follow the new trends and features within WooCommerce development. That way, you will surely be ahead of the game. Now that we're done with all the foundational work, I'll show you how to navigate to WooCommerce dashboard to manage your e-commerce site. To begin with, whenever someone makes a purchase, WooCommerce will automatically create a new order request, which you can see from the orders menu. When you receive orders later, you'll get to see each item showing information details, such as a unique ID, payment date, order status, and total price. If you want to run a marketing campaign, coupons are a great way to give discounts and rewards to boost customer loyalty. You can also easily add it from the dashboard just by going to this marketing menu and selecting coupons. Here you can generate a coupon code and come up with a short description, choose a discount type, and set the coupon amount. If you need further guidance, there's the knowledge base section to help you learn more about how to edit and customize your marketing coupons. Then, to get insights into how well your online store is performing, access the Analytics menu to see your overall store performance. You can also see your top performing products. Other than these general overview insights, you can also see more detailed data by clicking on the available categories in the menu. Moving on to the more technical side, you'll get to customize a lot of your site's elements and functionalities under the Settings section. I bet you had no clue about this too, since we've been visiting it a lot throughout this video. There are multiple tabs, each with different configuration settings. Note that this time I won't go over the tabs that we've visited in previous sections. So to quickly go over everything, in general, you can change the store's details such as the address, default customer location, and currency. Accounts and privacy is a place to personalize your store's account registration, guest checkout, privacy policy, and data retention. In emails, you can create custom messages for customers, change the sender name, address, or subject line for emails sent by your store, and configure email notification settings for new accounts, password resets, refunds, and pending orders. Integration lets you connect the WooCommerce shop with MaxMind Geolocation, which is a tool for locating and analyzing your site's visitor demographics. And Advanced belongs for securing checkout pages, configuring webhooks, customizing checkout page URLs, creating an API key to grant external access and enabling usage tracking. If you ever need help, just hover over the question mark beside each menu to learn more about what you can do with it. The last part that I'll cover this time is system status. Here you can check the overall health of your WooCommerce store. This ranges from the software version to the WordPress server type and PHP limits. Click Get System Report to generate a detailed report of your WordPress site and server environment. You can also move to the following tabs to set other options for optimizing your online store, like clearing cache and debugging errors. And that's how you build an online store with WooCommerce. In case you need help throughout the process, please leave a question in the comments below. You can also use this section to spark some more discussion about WooCommerce or WordPress in general. If you found this video helpful, show some love by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your business buddies. Hit that subscribe button to catch more website development videos like this every week. Oh, and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any updates from us. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.